Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a search and rescue volunteer. I'm here today to tell you a story about a boy named John. He got lost in the woods and hugged a tree to survive. John had looked forward to this camping trip with his parents and sister Emily for weeks. He and Emily helped to set up the camp, but John just couldn't wait to start exploring. Anybody hungry? I'm hungry. Great, I'll make lunch. You can look around until it's ready, but don't go too far. Okay. John started on his short walk before lunch. He knew better than to take off alone into the woods. And John also knew to always tell an adult where he was going. But that day, he was just too excited. Plus, he wasn't planning on going far. John went further and further into the woods, never realizing how far from the campsite he was getting. John forgot everything he learned about safety in the woods. He was too busy checking stuff out to pay attention. He didn't even look for landmarks like large trees or rocks or hills to help him find his way back to the campsite. Wow, is it ever hot out? Which way is the campsite? Is it down there? No, it couldn't be. It's this way. Oh no, I don't know where it is. Good move, John. You didn't even tell Mom and Dad where you were headed. My parents warned me about this. They said it could happen to anyone. Well, it's happening to me. Mom! Dad! Where am I? John was all alone in the woods. The bush was thick, too thick to see through, and too high to see over. At first, John panicked. He started to run, wearing himself down and going farther away from the campsite. It was the worst thing he could do. But he didn't keep running. If he did, he would have gone further away and might have tripped and hurt himself. Instead, he stayed put and hugged a tree, which kept him in one place and easy to find. A tree is a safe place to be if you are ever lost in the woods. So hug a tree and stay put. Your tree will shelter you, help you feel better, and keep you in one place so that you can be found. You can hug it, lean against it, or sit by it. A tree can help you stay put so that you can be found faster. John was safe. He was doing the right thing, making himself comfortable beside his tree. John knew that by now his parents would be worried about him. Just as John thought, his parents called the police soon after he missed lunch. A search was being organized with a local search and rescue team. John's parents spoke to the search manager, telling him what John looks like and what he is wearing. Which way did he go? Um, I think he went that way. So over that way? She really didn't know which way John went. Nobody knew. John forgot the first important thing, to tell an adult where he was going. Hello everyone, I'll be your search manager today. We're looking for a nine-year-old boy. His name is John. He's wearing blue jeans, a red jacket, black ball cap, and size six running shoes. He has a backpack with some food and water, a whistle, and an emergency shelter. The searchers are trained professionals. They really care about you and your family. John! John! The searchers looked everywhere. John! Searchers will be yelling your name. John! Because they are yelling really loud, they may sound like they are angry, but they are not angry at all. No one will be angry that you're lost. They only want you back safe and sound. They will be very happy to see you. The sun began to set and John started to feel cold. So he gathered some small branches and dry grass to put between him and the ground to keep warm and dry. Then John put his jacket on and he zipped up and tucked in to help stay warm. Then John took his emergency shelter out of his backpack. Okay, I'm going to wrap the emergency shelter around me. The shelter will keep moisture out 
and heat in. Now I am warm and dry. What was that? I'm scared. There it is again. No, wait. It's probably just a small animal moving around. They sure can make a lot of noise. Even if it's something big, it will be scared of me. I'm bigger and I smell like a human. That means danger to them. If it's something big, I'll blow my whistle at it good and hard. That will scare it away. Plus, people will be looking for me by now. That's for sure. If I blow my whistle, that will help them find me right here, safe by my tree. Throughout the night, everyone kept looking. A person searching for you at night might look or sound scary, crashing through the bush and calling out your name. But they are there to help. The searchers looked through the night, but still could not find John. The next day, more people joined the search. John used his whistle to attract attention. A whistle is louder than your voice, and it takes less energy to use when you are tired. John blew his whistle three times, waited, and then did it again. This is the signal for help. You can repeat this until you are found. But the searchers were not close enough to hear John. Sometimes a helicopter is used to help search because it can cover more ground than people searching on foot. If possible, choose your tree by a small clearing so searchers in a helicopter can see you more easily. But don't go too far looking for a clearing. It's better to stay put. John knew how to be heard with his whistle and also how to be seen. He left clues for the searchers. John gathered branches to make a big X close to his tree. Other things John could have done to be seen are putting rocks together to make a large SOS. Or if the ground is soft, dragging your foot in the dirt or using a stick to make an SOS. A large arrow could be made pointing to John's tree. While that might not look like much, to ground searchers or a pilot, it's like a big neon sign saying, here I am. From the ground or from the air, bright clothes are easier to spot. We put John in a dark coat to show how hard it is for a pilot to see him. Now, John has a red coat on. See how much easier it is to spot John from the air? You're also easier to spot if you make yourself big. You can do that by lying down with your arms and legs spread out, but it may not work in tall grass. Movement also helps searchers see you. It's a good idea to wave your shelter or bright colored coat. If you are spotted by a helicopter rescue team, first make sure that they see you. Then go back to your tree and wait. If the helicopter lands, crouch down facing your tree. Cover your face to protect it from flying debris. Then wait by your tree until a rescue team member comes to get you. These people are experienced trackers. They're looking at footprints to see if they might be John's. It's one of the ways they can tell which way John went. Search base, this is tracker team. This is search base, go ahead tracker team. Our location is 14 uniform, 06. 555, 23, 942. We've discovered some footprints that match the child's shoes. Roger tracker team. We'll send a search and rescue dog to your location. <laughs> A search and rescue dog is sometimes used to help with the search. To alert the search team, it might bark loudly if it finds you. Don't be afraid of the dog's barking. The dog, along with the searchers, are there to help find you. The rescue dog joined in the search to help find John, and it wasn't too long before they were getting close to where John was hugging his tree. John! John! John heard the searchers and blew three blasts on his whistle over and over again so the searchers could hear him. He also waved his shelter so they could see him. John, I'm so glad we found you. I'm so happy to see you guys. Us too. Are you okay? You able to walk back with us to camp? Yeah, I'm okay. I can make it. Okay. I'm just going to call it in. Search base, 
Search base. This is tracker team. Search base. Go ahead. We've located the boy. He is alive and well. We are bringing him back to base. Copy. That's great news. I'll let the parents know. Mom! John! Mommy, I missed you. I missed you too. You've scared me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. John might have been found faster had he told an adult where he was going or not started running as soon as he realized that he was lost. But after he got over his panic, John did the right thing and was found because he used his head and remembered what he was taught. Hug a tree and stay put. Keep warm and dry. Help searchers by answering their calls. John was found safe and sound because he remembered and used his hug a tree and survive training. John loves camping and he and his family will camp again. <laughs>